Saturday afternoon, Marquette returned home to face Seton Hall, and after a dominant 40-26 halftime score, the Golden Eagles would need all 20 minutes to finish off the Pirates, taking them down 67-66. It's a long season, and uh, sometimes you feel like the only chance that you have to breathe is when you win. That's the way you, uh, we all function, not just Marquette, just anybody. And so we have to continue to improve, and we, we can never lose uh, the prerequisite of toughness. Marquette exuded toughness Saturday with aggressive takes to the basket. Their strong offensive play would result in 23 free throw attempts, making 18 shots at the charity stripe. Their effort on the glass was excellent, grabbing 35 rebounds, seven more than Seton Hall. Senior forward Jameel Wilson showed his high caliber play by finishing with 16 points and a career high 11 rebounds to collect just his second career double-double. When Jameel is not coaching and he's been a player, He's one of the best in the country. He needs to focus on what he can do. I would just leave that up to the coaches to help out other players. I know he's a senior and he wants to help all the time just because who he is and, and, and he has a good heart. But at the end of the day, you have to be a player and just come in and just play. Don't talk. Just when you need to help, help. But it's good here and there. The Golden Eagles shot a whopping 56% from the field in the first half to hold a 14-point lead over the Pirates at the break. But Seton Hall was not going to go down without a fight. Kevin Willard's team would use seven made three-pointers and 16 points off turnovers to crawl back into the game in the second half. But it wouldn't be enough as Mark had converted in the clutch, hitting their free throws down the stretch to win their 20th straight conference home game. Obviously, uh, winning at home is a big key in the conference play. As um, long as we keep taking care of business, winning at home, and uh, just keep winning overall, and um, as teams keep losing in conference play and we work our way up the ladder, I think it'll help down the stretch. Marquette improved to 2-2 two two in the Big East and will face Butler next on the road in Indiana. Reporting from the BMO Harris-Bradley Center, Mike Santiolo, MUTV Sports.